Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another Warbots video and we're checking out drone microchips today. I know a lot of people get confused on these, so what we're going to do is take a look at each slot type separately. I'll make a video for each one and throw these on a playlist. Hopefully this will help you understand what chips do what and which ones are good. So we're going to try and look at every single chip for every single slot type. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at the weapons. All right, your drone has to have one of these special AC slots. This is the little symbol right here. If you see this symbol on one of your drones, you can install a weapon on the drone. And in order to activate the weapon, you do have to have one of these chips installed. So we're gonna look at all these chips right here. Remember, these will be on a playlist. We'll have a playlist with a video for each single slot. And then we're gonna go do some gameplay after it. But with the first one, Intimidating Rifle. This is a really nice chip, all right? It's it's got like a, it's got a rifle. I think it's a single shot, four thousand two hundred damage per shot, eight hundred meter range, ten second reload. Um, I really do like the rifle shooting chip. The range is great. The damage is great. It's a very nice arms chip. Next, we have the intimidating rocket. So this one shoots rockets. The thing I don't like about this is it's got 350 meter range. So this one only works up close, but it's got 780 damage, eight second reload time. And I mean, it's good. It shoots a rocket at somebody. So if you like the rockets and you don't mind the close range chip, this one will be okay for you. We got the target seeking minigun guys. This one does 720 damage, a 500 meter range and a 10 second reload. This one's like a little machine gun that you can install on your drones. And remember, only drones with the AC slot can use these particular chips. Um, next, we have the target seeking freezer, which is another really cool chip. 480 damage, 600 meter range. Now this one does have a 15 second cooldown, which I don't like, but if you can shoot somebody enough times with one of these chips right here, it's actually gonna freeze your enemy and damage them at the same time. So this is a pretty nice chip. All right, next we're gonna go check out the very last one, which is the Target Seeking Cannon. This one does 1,440 damage per shot, 500 meter range and a five second reload. This one is nice as well. Um, I still like some of the other chips better. But basically for me, I'm either going to go for the rifle or I'm going to go for the minigun. Those are the ones I think you really want to look for. All right, so that's pretty much it for this one. This is probably the easiest one, but we're going to go ahead and go do some gameplay now. Don't forget to check the playlist to see the video for the rest of the slots. And yeah, we will catch you guys later, all right? Thanks for watching. Let's go do that gameplay and we'll catch you next time. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed the little tutorial on those microchips. So let's go ahead and play a battle. We're going to start off with our flamethrower shell. We got the lockdown drone on him today, which really isn't the best drone for him. But uh, we're going to try out the lockdown. That way we can lock people and burn them. Flamethrowers really seem to work well with lockdown. So let's go ahead and rush in here. Almost in range. Nope, he got farther away. We're going to go ahead and move over this way a little bit. We don't want hit. I mean, we got some big old shields, but we still don't want people to hit us. So we're going to go ahead and try and burn this guy. Let's rush at him. See, that's the thing with flamethrowers. I don't know if we did. We lock him down. I think we did. So we locked him. He hit his, he hit his uh, last stand. We're going to go ahead and uh, turn. Somebody's got weapons that are going right through my shield. That's no good. So Shell, Shell really relies on that shield to stay alive. And... If you happen to run into enemies that have some sort of weapon that goes through your shield, that's not good for your little shell. So flamethrowers and rockets are pretty much shells' worst enemy, along with those stupid hellburners. All right, we're going to go ahead and move over this way. All right, there we go. We got our ammo back. He's about to blow up. I'm going to wait for this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put mine on. And when his last stand ends, ba-bam, he's going to blow up and die. He's still alive. and didn't get him. All right, let's flamethrower that guy. All right, let's get this dude. Oh, you know what? We're playing a beacon game. I totally forgot what this is beacon, so I was kind of thinking we were doing the team deathmatch. So I can understand every once in a while, maybe that's why somebody doesn't get the beacons when they play games. But guys, beacons are like the most important thing ever. You got to get those beacons, right? Right now we got two. We need to get a third. I think center might have been lost. So I'm going to go. No, we still got center. 
this this guy is coming in to take it so I'm gonna try and burn these dudes up I don't want them to get the center um crap they got it so I'm gonna go ahead and bring in my toughest Fenrir right I'm gonna bring my toughest Fenrir in here we're gonna go right into the center we're gonna smash those guys up and we're gonna get it back we're gonna make these red dudes d -d 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 dead right red dudes will be dead dudes so we already got a guy over there that's great this is definitely still my favorite Fenrir setup though man the Turan and Redeemer these weapons are awesome a lot of people don't understand just how good the Turans are and the Redeemers those new weapons are ridiculous did you see how fast that froze me that's crazy I was frozen in like half a second where's that guy at how did he get all the way back there someone must have killed the guy we were after I'm not really too worried about that hawk come on come on out of ammo we're gonna get this dude right we're gonna try and get this dude because he's a little bit of a problem for us and we want to smash him and bash him and make him a dead dude red dude's got to be dead dude come on dude stop that he's playing run around the run around the thing and we're not gonna have no part of that we're gonna smash him before he can get back up in the air there we go let's go after this guy all right we gotta bust this tear shield unfortunately good news is I got the super Fenrir mark 3 Fenrir right can't complain about that oh we got two Arthurs coming I am in a bad spot this just turned into a giant turd taco guys this just turned into a giant turd taco for me I'm gonna hit my healing module I'm gonna do the best I can to take these guys out before they oh they got me at this point, I think I'm going to bring my hover in, and I know that sounds crazy, but we're going to hover it up. We got to get to, we got to get this beacon back. So check this out. This might work out great. This might not work out at all, but uh, here we go, guys. All right, let's get up on top of this roof. I think I might be able to grab the beacon from up here, and they can't. Oh, crap. I'm falling off. Well, I didn't think they could have shot me from up there, but... Uh, jump up over top of these guys all right let's stay up to where hopefully they can't target us right uh oh we're in a bad spot there's two of them that's the problem let's get back up on the roof okay get up there get up there get up there get up there I'm a really good hover pilot but uh, two Arthurs is a little bit hard to deal with oh here comes oh no I'm gonna hit my healing module because oh, it didn't help did it <laughs> My little hover did not do super good. So let's bring on our Titan, right? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and stand back and just heal people for the most part. Remember they nerfed this guy's durability. Alright, cool. Cool, cool. We won. Good job. They nerfed his durability, but he's still an amazing support. Alright. Super amazing support. I still love my Nodens. You just gotta it's a little less of a brawler and more of a support bot. So you gotta set back, heal, suppress, and corner shoot people. It's kind of the best way to keep him alive. Or if you have like other Nodens or other healers that can run with you to help you stay alive, you can do that. And that's really a big help. So, anyways, I think that wraps this one up. Guys, thanks for watching. We will catch you next time. See ya. Bye.